Hey everyone, it's me and welcome back to my channel for a new part of the Sins 2 Let's Play Pleasant View Season 2 University. Thank you guys so much for your love and support on the first introductions of our university households. I really do appreciate it. I have a love-hate relationship with the university section of the LPs because there are fun things to do and it is important and an important aspect of a lot of the Sims uh, lives. But to me, it is super boring. I'm very limited in what I can do in the storyline and the fact that you're stuck here for the whole like pretty much eight terms is is rough because you get, you have to do the same thing over and over and over again. But I digress. I appreciate your love and support and your excitement for these households, especially the family bins ones because a lot of you have never really played with them before and honestly neither have I. So I'm super excited. Um, we do have one whole day left until final exams, so I think I will play today and tomorrow um, for these parts because a lot of them will have, um, uh, will be doing their exams and will be into our second term for round eight. Um, if you missed, I <laughs> had originally started the LPs with a starting the round, round seven, so that university is 7.1. I've gone ahead and I've switched university parts to be the, to be the end half of the round so that they come after the Blue, Blue Water Village families. Makes more sense that way so that when I introduced them, that was actually part of round six. Now we're on round seven, air quotations. So this is um, point 14 or 13, I think. Um, of our households. we I think we have like 16 houses now that we play. <sighs> Breathe. And there's going to be one more because our Pleasant View teens are in university. They've been here for a while because I was a little off time. So they will be the final household that we spend time with after um, we spend time, time with the Swain household, Eric and such. But anyways, we're back with the frat brothers. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with this part. <laughs> We're going to take this as a kind of, um, as it goes, Kevin's face right now is everything. I adore him. Um, he is eating some pizza right now and he has actually met Bill, a dreamer, as you can see here. Um, and he wants to be friends with him, maybe convince him to be a pledge for the, um, for the Greek house. So we're going to go ahead and give him a call. I feel like the two of them would get along quite well. So waiting for that. So Kevin is going to call him up. Kevin is also, um, he's just friendly with everyone. And I feel like Kevin is the kind of guy that you call up when you need advice. And because everyone is constantly in drama right now, he is going to be getting a lot of calls. He's going to be in a lot of people's households as they invite him over to just vent to him as much as possible. Um, Josh is, um, his phone's ringing, so we're going to answer. Allegra's calling. Oh my goodness. Why is she calling him? And look at him. He's kind of like, um, you're my brother's roommate. What's up? Um, and she was actually like, did they meet recently? I can't remember if they met. They must have. They must have met. Um, oh, we have our bills and I can't afford it because I put in a pool over here. It is a fall time, so I don't know if, um, I don't know how much time we can get out of that. But anyways, I'm, I'm kind of thrown off that Allegra is talking to him and she's talking about, I think like she just saw the new Aladdin movie. <laughs> um, and I guess she wanted to ask him her, his, his thoughts on, on that. And he's like, uh, that's a little weird. Um, but okay. He's going to come out and I think he's going to do some swimming. I just realized that there's no, um, ladder and I don't feel like killing my Sims today. Just today. I'm fine with that. Let's pop in a ladder. Oops. Hello. Oh, now my quarter tile placement works. It wasn't working before. And maybe one light so that it's uh, it's good. And now we have no money, but that's okay because we're going to get money when we do our exam tomorrow morning. So in we go. I do want to dive board so that we can uh, experience this. Did we miss class? 
no, he will be going to class in a minute, but he doesn't have um, any room to expand. So I feel like he might skip class this morning. Um, I wish we had a logic table, but we don't. And he needs mechanical. So I'm going to have him come study some mechanical really quickly. And yeah, and then maybe he'll go to class. Why is he a mathematics major? I think I was going to change his major to be drama instead, actually. So yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that. Let's have him um, call the college and we're going to change our major to something like drama because then he can be a Hall of Famer and I think that'll suit him a lot better. Brittany is also there, and I have a feeling that him and Brittany are going to get along quite well. She was actually here the latest out of the sorority sisters last night. The two of them were talking for hours up until the wee mornings of the hour, and um, wee, wee mornings of, mm, that's not the saying, um, into the wee hours of the morning. Cool. And I think that because, for whatever reason... <laughs> The two of them just are not liked by other people, and they are both the heads of the Greek houses. Um, I think it's like their roles as they're not called presidents; they're they're the like the leaders. Um, and with that comes responsibility, and um, and honestly, just not flat out not being liked by your um, underlings. And I think only that the two of them understand what each other is going through. So they have this, um, they just have this feeling together. Um, I'm going to give Caster a cell phone because I want everyone to have a cell phone. Um, and he's doing so well with his studies that he is already at the top, but he does want to do a, another assignment just to seal the deal. Um, Kevin is, I think, cleaning. Um, <laughs> Joshua, I put you in this pool so that you can work on your athletic skill and you're just floating in the water, like not even having a care in the world. You're supposed to be like working out. He wants to befriend his professors and him and Tiffany, they, um, he tried talking to her a lot. Um, and it was cute, but it's raining. I think he is going to come inside. Oh, yeah, it's thunderstorming. Time to get out of the water before you die. Thank you. Okay, good. He's got his charisma skill point. Perfect. Uh, he does want to ask a sim on a date, and I don't know. I don't know who or what, but I think, actually, Castor will do his homework and eat a pizza. And for him, he... Him and Jane got along quite well. Um, what I actually am remembering to do is that I wanted to give him a secondary aspiration. And we are going to give him the romance aspiration just because I feel like that is quite fitting for him. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That way he gets a bunch of um, romance wants as well as his knowledge wants. Um and then with that, he, I mean, he can talk to anyone he wants. Him and Jane are getting along quite well. Allegra has been um, sending him texts and things. Um, this Heather Huffington, who um, is quite attractive, um, he's interested in her. Um, and he also started talking to Ty Bubbler, who seemed to be a good guy. Um, so I think we will give him a call as well him a call as well um and him and martin were not getting along and he's just like putting him out of his head you know sort of thing um but my kevin i wonder if we should call one of our friends maybe we should invite over bill so that we can really befriend him and get him to be a pledge I would like that a lot. Um, meanwhile, who needs to do what for studies? Oh my god, Kevin has class in two hours and he is not going to be ready. He's not going to be doing a good... Um, oh, look who it is, Eric Swain. Let's go greet him. Even though Kevin is not doing too well at school, he is being friendly. And you know what? That's That, that matters more to me. Um, Joshua's also the same. Oh, they're both. Oh, no. He's an undeclared major. And so I need to decide what he what he wants to do. And I don't know. 
I just flat out don't know. Let's talk to him. Let's joke with him. Let's, um... Who are we calling? We're calling Ty Bubbler. Right. Just talk. Okay, we're gonna come, uh... Oh, Bill's attracted to Ashley? Oh, we'll come greet him. Oh, <gasps> Bill! What about Dante? Don't do this, honey. Uh, why don't we chat with him? Um, Ashley's eating it up. He doesn't usually have people being nice to him or, like, reaching out to talk to him. And Bill doesn't really know him, doesn't really know the kind of person he is quite yet. So, um, he's lapping this up. Lapping this up. I think we should, um, I want to bring one of the pizzas down. Um, maybe put it here on the counter instead. I don't like how they put it on the desks upstairs because no one really goes there. Um, but Castor is actually doing quite well with, um, that. Kevin went to class, even though him and Joshua, like, they're not going to increase anything. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to kind of leave him where he's at with his, um, his level of schooling. Um, is he cleaning up? He is. Castor has the highest level, highest, um, meat points. Uh, out of the entire household, so he's, like, really the only one who would be, um, cleaning up. Um, so, yeah, I kind of think what I wanted to do was throw a toga party for this evening. I think that would be fun. Something, like, I know people actually know we should wait and throw the toga party after our exams tomorrow morning because everyone is cramming tonight. Not that we are going to be cramming, but, um, there's some cramming to do. And look, here's a new, another chick. And she's punky looking. Not the most attractive, but um, you know what? Caster talks with everyone. Okay? Okay. He does want to befriend his professor, Diane. I feel like Caster would also... <gasps> it's Melody Tinker! Of course, she is attracted to him, too. Of course. Um, but he's going to greet her and... Um, Oh, and he is attracted to her a lot. Oh, he's gonna... They would be... They're very similar, actually. Now that I think about it. They're both knowledge people. They both don't really like other people. Um, I feel like I feel like we would actually get along a lot. So we're gonna do some socializing with Melody Tinker. She just got to university and she's very, very excited. She's glad to be out of her home. She feels like she's a whole new person. I'm, I'll get into her when we play her. She is in the dorm rooms with Bill Dreamer. So, um, and I think Bill's still here. He should be. Um, yeah. So we're just going to relax um, to day. We're getting to know um, Eric as well. Yeah, Bill's over here. Um, let's see if we can, uh, no, let's see if we can um, get Bill to be a pledge uh, because that's the goal. Uh, we're not getting along with Eric Swain too well at all, but we're going to come and chat with Bill and see if he will pledge us. I don't think so. I really don't like you well enough. Oh, but you like us a bit, dude. Okay. Sorry. Like, hi. Let's chat. Let's, um... <sighs> I don't know. Play kiki bag? Oh, our relationship's going very well. Um, let's joke again. Let's admire. Let's school cheer. Let's gossip. Let's share our interests. And we'll come back. Joshua, honey, how are you feeling? Oh, he's playing on the piano outside. That's nice. Oh, this is where I can get the creativity point. Okay, you get your creativity skill because we're going to try and see if we can actually get you to um, to increase your shit. Oh, he wants to write a term paper? Really? No, just do your homework, honey. <laughs> Here, do an assignment. He feels a little stressed out because he's not an academic type kid at all. Um, he does want to buy a living chair. That would be fun. He wants to buy a florist bench for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, he's going to go upstairs. He wants to work on his homework. Um, we're getting a slice of pizza and then we're going to try and um, chat with Bill as well. 
Cassia, it looks like you're gaining some fame. Oh, did you befriend her? Oh, he did. <gasps> I wonder if we can pl ask her to pledge us. I don't know if we can have girls do our pledges or what. <laughs> Huzzah, all those friends your housemates have been making a push your Greek house to level four, opening up even more stuff, uh, even more room for new members to the fastest growing Greek house on campus. <gasps> Congratulations, Melody has decided to join the Greek house as a pledge. During the pledge period, you can influence them to do whatever you like. They will become full members and can move in if you want. Oh, no, I don't want that. I did not want her to move in here, but anyways, so you can ask them to do whatever you want. Oh yeah, look, influence to clean. Can you clean up our dirty house, Melody? Thank you. Um, did not want that, but look, she's wearing the exact same outfit as you. Fight. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Cool. Okay, Caster's getting to know people. He wants to have fun. We might come in and watch some TV. Joshua, how did you finish? That is nasty. Pizza, dude. We just need to make more friends. And then I'm going to have him work on his creativity skill as well so that we can get him to, um, to level up. So what I will do is actually... I think I'm going to go ahead and skip until after our exam tonight or tomorrow morning and um, and throw the toga party. So I'll see you guys very shortly. Welcome back, everyone. So we just got back from our exams and we all did pretty good. Joshua and Kevin both finished with a B grade and they received 700 simoleons for their time. Um, Castor got on the Dean's list with an A plus and brought home 1,200 simoleons and so did Ashley. So the two of them have this kind of rivalry going on, um, which is, um, you know, whatever, but we're just gonna, he's like, oh, congratulations for making the Dean's list. Um, I did as well. And Kevin's actually like being like nice about it, but... I think Castor's going to annoy um, him a bit just because he's like. <laughs> like, they just, like, don't get along. They're like, un like brothers, but, like, very unhappy with each other sort of thing. Um, so it is 1130. Um, I'm trying to just uh, plan ahead. Um, Joshua is upstairs already. He got food poisoning yesterday because he was eating expired pizza, which is really not the best for him. Um, but he wants to buy a new living room chair and he has not declared his major yet. Um, looking at, um, like he wants to work with animals and his interests are food, health, sports. I feel like he would want to kind of be a in athletics or in like if you could be like a physiologist, like an acupuncturist. Um, but he could go on the athletic career or the maybe law enforcement. I kind of feel like he could be a cop. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, because I have so many people in drama going to be the the thing. So let's see if we can make him be a cop instead, because he's not going to be in biology. He's not going into forensics. He's going to be, like, on the streets kind of dude, right? Okay, cool. Um, So now that he's a psychology major, he needs a mechanical. Oh, he, that's the same as, oh, no, he's philosophy. He's got to get a mechanical skill point, but he's going to come here. I think he wants to play some video games. And then Caster wants to throw, oh my God, they're playing football. But <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, oh, sorry, dude. My bad. He's like, oh, what do you mean? Oh, they're throwing so nicely. Oh, see, Caster is not as, like, into the sports. Oh, that was a good throw. That was a good throw. Okay, stop that because I want you to um, throw a toga party to wrap up this part. <laughs> um, so we're going to invite um, 
everyone. We're going to invite Jane, Allegra, Tiffany. We'll invite all the girls. We'll invite Melody and Ty. We're going to invite Bill Dreamer. We're going to invite Martin Rubin, even though he's not really all that. Nah, I think that's uh, that's good. Just inviting all our households um, that we'd like. And yeah, and let's see how it goes. What do you have to do at a toga party? I don't quite know. Um, but he's going to come and clean up a little bit. Um, I'm going to have Kevin. Do we have a grill? I thought we had a barbecue. But you know what? We have money. And we wanted to buy a new living room chair. Something um, we can get like a ripped up leather one just for more seating. Joshua knows that they have so many people coming over that they want more seats. Um, and then I think we will also do a barbecue. Let's grab. Um, let's grab this one, you know. And we'll put it on uh, this side. And we can come grill. some hot dogs he also wants to buy a floor sponge that's like really strange <laughs> he wants to earn more money he also wants to write a term paper i think he's like now i guess now that he knows what his major is or what he's interested in doing he's a little more oh he's throwing up oh poor baby yeah he's not feeling too well um but everyone's in their togas um we are excited again i don't quite know what you do in a toga party oh ashley's in the bathtub i was like why are we going up here but look at everyone allegra's so excited melody seems to be excited though she's like not interested in really talking to uh, this many people ashley's not gonna go to class uh for today um he needs to level up his skills anyways so um what do you do in a toga party like do we just uh drink drink fruit punch maybe let's have him drink some fruit punch um let's maybe blow some bubbles while we wait for the food um i think ashley's gonna come over and um chat with Brittany. <laughs> her and allegra are already fighting uh and we're gonna drink from the tap all good we already got the hot dogs coming out which is great there's literally red cups everywhere uh, do you want to talk to Melody? Oh, no. The workout guy's here. Dude, where's your toga? Ashley, how can you be at a toga party not wearing a toga? Um, but yeah, him and um, him and Brittany are, I think, connecting uh, on a new level, which is like really nice. Though she doesn't seem to <laughs> like a lot with what he says. But um, we're going to try befriending her. She would be like really one of his only friends, which is so sad. But, you know, that's how they are. Um, Ty Bubbler seems to be loving. Oops. Ooh, I accidentally clicked off and um, minimized the game. And sometimes when you do that, it crashes. Um, so we are now friends with Ashley. That is so nice. Maybe we'll dance together too. Um, Kevin's over here talking with Heather and Jane, which is very nice. He is also going to work out. I'm going to just say no to that right now. Uh, but we are talking to both these girls and having a nice conversation. I do want him to chat just a little more with Jane. Um, he's been doing the cooking of the house and I feel like he would want to ask Jane for some advice. Melody is like, I'm so proud of her for stepping out of her comfort zone. Like, even though this is hectic, this isn't her family and she's, she's living right now. And I love that. Joshua keeps throwing up um i'm actually gonna have him run upstairs and take a bubble bath he might need to actually lay down for a little bit um ashley and Brittany are just like living look how cute they are they're like <laughs> and allegra oh they're so cute look at his face they're actually like a power couple like i could totally see the two of them being a power couple but Brittany is totally interested in Caster. Um, and Caster, I think he's just going to chat quickly with Allegra because the two of them are kind of just on their own. Oh, she's actually playing with Ty Bubbler. Oh, because they became very close friends very quickly, um, which is nice. We also like 
tie as well. Oh, we became best friends. Oh my god, how do we know about one another like so well? Can we talk about share interests uh, and keep going? And then I do, where's Jane? 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 Let's come chat with her. She's so cute. Look at her little face. And maybe tell her a joke, maybe admire her, and maybe dance together. I don't think she'll let us dance together, but yeah, Ashley's like, ba -doom. Uh <laughs> Heather's playing video games. Um, and where's Tiffany at? Is she upstairs? Upstairs? You know, this is the this is the room of the, what is Ty doing up here by himself? This is like I feel like this is the room you bring the girl to. You know? Oh, she's up here. She was doing her homework. She was doing an assignment. Oh my god. Okay, let's come over here. We see that she's actually in our room, which is questionable. But we're going to come and say hi to her. And maybe do the school cheer and share interests. And Joshua's healthy again. Thank gosh. Oh, we became best friends. Maybe we should do like a, um, just very lightly a suggestive flirt. Gurbits, go Gurbits. What are Gurbits? Okay, okay. We're having a good pot time, a good party. I want to see what are we doing? Are we sharing interests? Space, no. Oh, caster, don't go to class. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, Tiffany. Oh, she kind of liked that, but then she. Um, runs away. <laughs> um, uh! you can't do that. You can't shower and bathe in our nasty bathroom. Like, hello. Um, he is starving though. Um, I think he will, I think we'll make another round of hot dogs. Ashley, I feel like he would totally want to uh try and talk to heather as well oh castor made mac and cheese dude how did you know i was starving no this is a good brother right here <laughs> um yeah everyone's hungry everyone's going the party's ending in five seconds um and we did good ty is no longer our friend we're gonna have to work on that but the toga party was a success and caster feels really good that he threw a bomb toga party um it's a good way to start off our freshman um second term especially because we had such success and uh, feel really good about the next term coming up um we've made some friends we've connected with people the guys though they didn't make much progress in their love lives they're taking baby steps um and i feel like more drama will ensue um, with the other households and these guys will be in the middle of it So if you guys are enjoying the series to give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly If you have any suggestions or would like to uh, Contribute your ideas do leave them in the comment section down below I read every single one of your comments and I try to put as many to use as I can so yeah cool I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall